Diaries. It's that time again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Enjoying a quiet ride into the work. Waiting on the Lord to see what he has to say. Oh yeah, baby. Just like that. Let's talk about distractions. such and such. And usually in those cases when people are that adamant about something, they're in no position to be making any kind of judgment because they are neck deep in distractions and idolatry and have not given their entire heart over to God. Hello? Oh yeah, baby. Just like that. That's how I know I'm speaking the word of God. Why? <laughs> Seriously? Because I'm at peace, I'm empowered, I'm inspired, I can observe myself growing in patience and love and service to others. And when I look at my critics, they're confused, anxious, depressed, they've got all their eggs in one basket. They're begging God to give them something that they want that God is not interested in giving to them. That's how I know, baby. The Word of God is easy to identify once you get into a relationship with Him. You don't need anyone else to tell you anything. Because you are the evidence of the resurrected Christ, baby. And those of you who are moaning and groaning and criticizing and judging and creating divisions and saying things like, oh no, God wouldn't do that. And you have no life in you, no love, 
no service to others, no joy, no wisdom, no ability to search the scriptures and separate fact and fiction. Yeah, baby, that fruit is, is nasty. That's not God's fruit, honey. Oh, yeah, baby. I love it. I'm going to fill up my car today. It should be around 40 miles to a gallon. And I bring that up because I'm appreciative of God's gifts. And I'm doing everything I can to maximize their blessing. God wants to do that in us. He wants to make us efficient in our use of his energy. Not spinning around or frantically spinning a wheel as if you're a hamster. Come on now. That's disgraceful. <laughs> you can't call yourself a Christian and your witness is not unlike a frantic hamster spinning on his wheel. That's a disgrace, baby. Jesus died a torturous death for over six hours so that you would have the sense not to do that. Good looking out. Good looking out, baby. Oh, yeah. So what you have to do is take inventory of your heart and be honest before God that you understand what it means in the Bible when it says that the heart is deceitful and wicked because you're experiencing it you're trying to convince yourself that what you want God wants instead of emptying yourself letting him fill you and let him give you the desires of your heart. Not give you what you think you want and need, but let him place into your heart those perfect desires of being one with him. Oh, yeah, baby. So your own pain is really your own fault, honey. You're going on and on and on. And you're going nowhere, baby. And you want people to stand up and applaud. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. But people will applaud when they see you you submitted to God and they'll see the evidence of God's life springing forth in, from you in a way that can only be supernatural because it will be in the demonstration of what you're incapable of doing and that is loving having faith trusting God serving others, thinking of others higher than yourself, resisting any judgment of other people, and just letting the complete love of God flow from you. Oh yeah, when you do that, we'll know it's God. But until you know, until you do that, 
no baby, we're not eating from that tree. Sorry, honey. <laughs>